But if we want to focus just on mold, it is true mold comes in two flavors in terms of illness. You have the mold allergies, which is the sneezy wheezies you get like hay fever that as a result of your body's reaction to the spores and the hyphae. The mold toxicity is the result of the bodies of the influence of the mycotoxins which the molds make that cause problems with neuroinflammation and hormone dysregulation and immune system dysfunction that manifests as a variety of diseases from everything from chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, through toxic encephalopathy to cancer. So the the mold and chronic illness link comes in with respect to how much of how much is the mold contributing to the total body burden and therefore contributing to the breakdown in the body's systems leading to the fires that we're constantly attempting to put out with traditional medication but failing to do so because we've never arrested the arsonist so if you want to look at the link between mold and chronic illness look at mold as an arsonist and the chronic illness is the fire the symptoms of mold toxicity are the same as the symptoms of potentially any any chronic illness resulting from a total body burden of toxicity